Hey hi, this is Mr. Sikorer. In this video, we are going to look at Educational Code Forces Round 87, Problem C1 and C2. The problem C1 is named as Simple Polygon Embedding and C2 is named as Not So Simple Polygon Embedding. The only difference between these two is whether the n is odd or n is uh, uh, even or odd. Uh, first, we look at uh, the question of C1 uh, the statement is like this uh, as, as I uh, told the statement of these problems is as same as the statement of problem C2 the only difference is that in problem C1 n is always even and in C2 n is always odd you are given a regular polygon with two n vertices it's convex and has equal sides and uh, equal angles and all its sides have a length 1 okay uh, let's name it as a 2n gone your task is to find square of a minimum size minimum size is square such that you can embed to is this uh, 2n gone in the in that square so embedding 2n gone in that square means that you need to place 2n gone in a square in such a way that each point which lies inside uh, or on the border of a 2n, 2N gone okay uh, okay this 2n gone should lie inside this border of a square okay you should fully embed this 2n gone into that square so that's what the embedding um, commonly mean is so you can rotate uh, 2n gone in any of the directions in any of the angles orientation so we'll first look at uh, how to uh, go with this so uh, here i have a diagram here so this is a sorry uh, this we look at this is a related to c2 problem so let's, let's uh, look at uh, related to c1 problem uh, since in c1 problem uh, the n is always even so if you take n is even there are two n such vertices right so the n dash let's define n dash is 2n which is 4 so you have this uh, four sides okay so in this case uh, you can simply have a uh, square this is square itself because all sides are equal equal to one okay so let's go to uh, somewhat uh, higher dimensions so n is equal to four if you take that so 2n is equal to eight so uh, you can what you can notice is you can actually draw a square which touches all uh, which touches the, the four sides of uh, polygon even you rotate in some direction so it, it can be possible so let's uh, draw a rectangle which can fit which uh, this polygon is embedded into in this way you should embed okay so after embedding you should get you should return the minimum uh, length of this square side okay so even you try to rotate this uh, polygon and uh, after some rotation this will also fit into that uh, square okay so uh, now what you need is uh, the length of this that is this okay so the you can use a trigonometric functions in order to find the length so let's say there is a center uh, this center C then uh, you find a perpendicular distance of this to onto the side of a square so this is actually nothing but uh, let's remove this rectangle so that we can visualize it properly so okay this length is um, we have to find because uh, two times of this will be the square side of you if you see two times of x is a square side okay side of a square uh, so if you we know that so in this since this is a regular polygon if you consider all the uh, all the 360 degrees is breakdown into m parts because each sided part if you partition in this way so this theta whatever you are here is a uh, 2 pi by n dash here n dash is 2n so it's a pi by n so if we if, uh, if we draw a line from the center to the center of uh, or one side of a polygon then this is theta by 2 and this is theta by 2 if you use a uh, tan theta by 2 you, you know that uh, the opposite si the side length is 1 so the half of this length is 1 by 2 
so tan theta by 2 will be the opposite side by uh, adjacent side so opposite side is 1 by 2 and adjacent side is x so x is equal to 1 by 2 into tan theta by 2 since you want 2x so the length is equal to 2x so is equal to 1 by 10 pi by 2n uh, so if you look at uh, the code this is a c1 code uh, this is a formula and you set the precision and uh, you just print the print the output depending on that so um, let's look at uh, even you can extend this to okay, other ends also it will work so this is a simple problem so let's uh, dive into somewhat uh, typical problem where n is uh, the c2 problem where um, n is all, always odd so uh, let's let's see this drawing so when n is uh, odd you will have uh, you don't have all the sides parallel like uh, you have seen in the in this manner you have seen here that uh, whenever they you can always uh, define that uh, it can fit into a square it can fit into a square where at least four sides touches but uh, it's not the it's not the case if n is uh, odd so you have uh, two corners which are touching and uh, uh, are only two corners touching when you oriented in some fashion so let's uh, if, if this is the case let's draw a, a rectangle a rectangle on top of it so this is a the green one is a rectangle on top of it so now you can rotate in any fashion and see uh, where you get a minimum square so and there is a few notions that you need to identify is so if you rotate by an so um, let's let this angle is a theta by two because this angle whole angle is theta as we see and seen before oh, wait wait a minute now before now the observation you had done the, the observation that you have to take from this is uh, the two corners the two axes lie on a side of a square and two sides are parallel to a square okay so now you are flexible to rotate in any orientation or uh, now when i'm rotating this is a th th this is uh, i rotate by theta by 2 and now i rotate by theta okay if i rotate by theta again i'm in the same orientation as the, as the of before now two corners are touching the sides of a square and two sides are parallel to that square okay uh, so what you can uh, what you can uh, justify is so if uh, some some there exists uh, some orientation in between these uh, theta and theta by 2 orientation 0 degrees and theta degrees orientation there will be some orientation which gives you best uh, best minimum uh, fitable square okay so you can you can even identify something some some more intuition where um, when you are rotating only by theta by 2 you can see that uh, here the two corners of uh, this polygon touches the two uh, sides uh, touches the square side and two sides of a polygon is parallel to the sides of a square so you can even um, from from this you can even reduce uh, the angle like uh, in the whatever the angle that you need, it need to be rotated so that you'll uh, will fit in a best square that is minimum possible square is uh, exist between zero degrees and theta by two degrees so let's and let's see so we draw this green square right initially so let, let's draw small let's rotate this by small angle and see whether we can see some uh, difference so when i'm rotating what, what you can even um, define is like uh, whatever the maxim the i define the dy as the maximum possible y coordinate of this uh, polygon minus the minimum possible y coordinate similarly the maximum possible y coordinate minus minimum coordinate y coordinate so when i am rotating you can see that uh, the y coordinate is increasing okay and the x coordinate is decreasing shrinking here you can see small gap between the green and uh, white here 
so when you when you're rotating by small angle now uh, after a while this gets into this okay uh, it's rotated by theta by 2 so the best angle as you can absorb by rotating is uh, it occurs at uh, theta by 4 you can see here at theta by 4 there is some gap between the green and uh, this polygon this green and the previous square and this polygon so if we draw a square around it then you can clearly observe that there is some uh, the square is shrinked so this is our best square at uh, theta by 4 angle you will get the best square okay you will get the best possible square you can see even the difference if I uh, hidden this so okay you can see here the difference okay yeah now now the problem is so okay in the if you rotate by theta by 4 we'll get the minimum square now what is the length of our side so uh, first we define the theta as a 2 pi by 2n and uh, theta is equal to pi by n because uh, then we defining as uh, 2n sides here okay so let's uh, look at uh, how we derived the side length so so uh, in the previous case uh, we uh, what the what the thing that we need to find out is what is the uh, this length from the center to the vertices so we can use uh, trigonometric functions so we know that this uh, this is a uh, if we, this whole is theta then this small part is theta by 2 so you can use sine theta by 2 which is uh, opposite side by hypotenuse so you can from this derivation you can get x is equal to 1 by 2 into sine theta by 2 okay or you stay this we will use this uh, in later equation so we know that uh, from previous case when I rotated by theta by 4 I'll get in this orientation okay uh, from this orientation as you can see, I'll show you before yeah you rotated by theta by 4 this is the orientation right the same figure is drawn here in order to calculate uh, the side length uh, the figure is somewhat deformed because I'm not good at uh, drawing on but uh, have a little intuition uh, so when you so if you're rotating this you're rotating by theta by 4 right so this angle is theta by 4 we know that uh, this angle is theta by 2 this angle also then this angle also becomes theta by 4 so now uh, if we get this length here if we get that length then two times of that length will give you this length because if you, that length is uh, y so two times of that length will give you this okay so no, now our problem breakdowns into calculating of this y so this uh, we already know this x right so in this is a here it's a right angle uh, the drawn here that i highlighted with the pink color is a right angle and this angle is theta by 2 so you can again apply the trigonometric function of cos the, the cos uh, theta here cos theta by 4 is equal to opposite side sorry cos theta side cos theta is equal to is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to y by x uh, so we'll use the previous calculated x here by substituting we'll get a y is equal to cos theta by 4 by 2 sin theta by 2 this is a half of the side length so in order to calculate the full side length we use uh, 2y which is uh, cos theta by 4 by sin theta by 4 uh, so if we know that uh, theta is equal to pi by 1 we have calculated before right here you can see here we have calculated this right theta is equal to pi by n so we are utilizing that uh, here by substituting we get uh, cos pi by 4 n by sin um, pi by 2 n so let, let's see in our code so this is a so you can see here I'm highlighting this is a formula and you can simply use that in order to solve the problem so this is how you can uh, solve the problem and and I think you learn something from this that trigonometric functions is uh, pretty interesting solutions to solve and thank, thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit, hit that bell icon 
so that you get notified whenever I publish a video and thank you thanks for watching